Hello, welcome back viewers. Today I'm going to be playing Silent Hunter 5. So, today I'm really in the mood to do some hunting and see if I'm going to sink some tonnage. So, we've been, we've been uh, today I think, I think it's uh, the 10th day of our patrol. We've been cruising all along the we're trying to get to the English coast where we can get to attack some British British supply ships in an effort to starve them into submission. So it's been fine all along, no incidents, no accidents. Haven't encountered enemy any enemy ships yet. So, but uh, I really hope today to come along a few so that I can te test my attacking skills. I can see if I'm good enough to sink a few ships, or if not, so it's, uh, it's been fine all along. You can see we are at a depth of uh, around 25, 25, 25 or 25 feet. So I'm just going to bring her up to periscope depth, then I'm going to observe the horizon to see if there's anything. So EXO bring her, bring her up to periscope depth. EXO, bring the submarine to periscope depth. Periscope depth. So this is the observation periscope. I'm going to raise it so that I can look through the... You can see it's coming up. Hmm, this is interesting. We have a... We usually have two periscopes in, in a submarine. There's this uh, normal observation periscope and then there's a attack periscope which is located in the... Control deck, uh, man. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. So I can't. I can't see any ships yet. It's so far out to see. There are no any ships here. No, no enemy contacts at the moment. So it's been good all along. But I, I'm really hoping to come across some British merchant ships today. So that I can get to sink them and uh, feel that glory. Okay, so I'm just going to take it back down. I'm just going to take the periscope down. So <laughs> I forgot the key I'm supposed to use to take the periscope down, page down. Okay, so. There it goes. I'm going to take, to turn it down, and then uh, I'll dive back the boat to its uh, to its cruising depth. Okay, uh, EXO, take her down to around uh, 30 feet. New depth, three zero meters. Okay, so we're going to be diving. I can show you the. You can see the the seas. This is quite is quite clear. I can show you where my submarine is. Current depth right two here. zero meters. So we're trying to dive the boat, but uh, one of the problems we have encountered in this game is like uh, the sea is like only 50 feet deep. So you can see I'm at around uh, 30 feet, 30 feet already, and the ground proxy ground pro proxy Current depth sensors are three coming zero out, so meters. They should really work on that. We want to be able to dive deeper into the game. Although, although the the real the real uh, the deepest uh, the deepest depth this boat could reach uh, at its time, I think it's around a uh, hundred hundred or so or so or so more. So, but uh, here I don't think I can get to a hundred because. Uh, if I drop any lower around 50 feet, I'll be scrubbing the bottom of the sea. So you can see, uh, the game is actually quite realistic. I can give you that, but uh, that's the only. Like I said, that's the only thing I didn't like about the game. I want to be able to dive to around 70 feet. So because, uh, as you can see, uh, my boat is uh, is kind of quite visible from the surface. That that poses a challenge to like enemy aircraft. You can you can see. Let me show you. 
you can see uh, you can let me see if you can see the board clearly from the surface sometimes it's kind of visible oh that's nice 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 now that, that I'm not able to see it now that that kind of give me gives me some reassurance that I'm safe so there are no ships right now no any contacts right now so I'm just gonna go back to my cabin and have a nap XO you have the call I'm just gonna go back to my bed and take a nap and uh, in the meantime try to go to try to go through some of the some of the some of the what some of the some of the functions of the ship uh, our boat is kind of doing good it's in a good condition. I can, I can walk around the boat actually. I can, I can walk around the boat and show you our crew once again. These are our radio and sonar operators. This is the, this is the EXO. So, mm -hmm. these are some bunkers. The crew, you can see the crew, the off-duty off crew really enjoying this. And this is the forward torpedo room. At least, guys, get to work. Okay, so there's not really much going on. The journey is still uneventful, so I'm just gonna lie down and uh, until uh, until I get myself in the situation. So the good thing is that this game is you have time compression because it, it really takes like a lot of time to move through the sea. So you can put in, a, you can see. In, as I was telling you, the ground, the ground pro proximity sensors are, ro are already sounding warning, and saying the sub the submarine is close to the bottom of the sea. So I'll allowed to bring her out to like uh, 25 feet. New depth to four meters. Uh, to four. Yeah, uh, it's actually meters, not even feet. I was uh, wrong all along. Okay, so I'm going to raise her up a bit. So. I'll not have this one in turning on. So the good thing with this game, you have time compression. Time compression means that uh, you can uh, use time compression try and try to move time faster because uh, this game really consuming consumes a lot of time just moving around uh, the ocean. So. I'm just going to use the time compression. We don't have any contacts at the moment. There are no contacts at the moment, so all is well. We haven't used any torpedoes yet, so still waiting for the action. You can see actually the submarine is going very fast, and this time compression works like, like that. So the submarine is like in autopilot, the way you use autopilot on the plane. So you are, once you set its course, you just let it go. Okay, okay. That's our waypoint. Once we get there. So the thing is, uh, once uh, once the, the submarine encounters any any contacts, it's going to show us and then we, we're going to leap into action and uh, sound battle stations. And uh, be be on alert so that we can uh, we can we can we can move in on the target and uh, and torpedo. So there's not really much going on. So I'm just gonna have a look at uh, outside. You can see moving actually quite fast. The ground proximity sensors are still low. It shows me that I'm close to the bottom. I'm too close to the bottom, so I don't know what 20, 20 what feet, 20, 20, 29 meters.
boat is just moving quite fast that we will get where we are going much faster and then we can proceed with our we can proceed with our objectives I wonder why there aren't any enemy ships here today I haven't found any yet I don't know but uh, I, the, the, I, can, I can move close to the docking you can see here we have uh, the port of Grimsy, the the port of Grimsy. So once I get to my current watch point, I can move closer to that port, see if I can spot any ships coming in or out, and try to sink them. The, these uh, the, this shine shows you air force. This is an air force base actually. It's gonna show you the the range of the aircraft. So you can see, I'm not I'm not yet in the range, but once I get to my, once I get to the point I'm going to, my current watch point, I'll be inside there. There, the, the, the range of the aircraft. So I'll be, I'll be lab, I'll be in, in, in a position where I can get attacked by enemy aircraft. That's why earlier on I was telling you uh, I'd like to go deeper. That way, any aircraft can spot you from the sky better. We'll see when we get there. Actually, a lot of airfields, airfields here. I don't know. A lot of them. They're very, very, very long ranges. But uh, I still can't find any warships. Right? See if we can go fast. Boat just sunk. So using type compression is really not a good. Idea. 